everyone, my name is Gage and welcome back to my channel. So today is kind of a special video because I'm doing a collaboration with a bunch of other trans women on YouTube. What we did is we all were responsible for picking one question. We each made up a question that we wanted to ask the rest of the girls. And so in this video, I'm going to be responding to my question and all of the other girls' questions. So after my video, if you'd like, you can go over to their channels, I'll link them down below and you can watch their versions of this same video, basically. And if you are new to my channel and you are coming from another place, hello, my name is Gage, nice to meet you. I make videos semi-regularly and um, yeah, welcome to my channel. Okay, so there are six questions in total and I'm going to start out with, where is everybody at in their transition? Are you on blockers, hormones, and are you old enough to get surgeries? So, where am I at in my transition? Um, well, I've been transitioning medically through hormone blockers and estrogen for almost two years. It'll be two years in November. So, I'm pretty far along in my transition. I can say that I'm at a comfortable spot with where I am. I have never felt more comfortable or confident in my appearance. Or my body so I would say I'm definitely in a good place um, in terms of surgeries I haven't had any procedures done yet to my body besides like laser hair removal but that's not really surgery I do plan on getting surgeries in the future I'll probably do a separate video talking about what I want to get I believe I made a video already talking about my surgeries but that was like a long time ago and I some things have changed, we'll just say that. So I'll definitely do an updated video on that. But yes, I do want to get surgeries. That's something that I'm finally starting to research now that I've been on hormones for almost two years. Cause I definitely wanted to give my body like, like time to develop on its own because I didn't know like how big my boobs were gonna be or what my face was gonna look like after being on estrogen for a certain amount of time. So now that I feel like I don't think hormones are going to change much else about my body or my face. Um, I'm ready to start thinking about surgeries and stuff. And next question is, what is or was school like for you? Do you get negative or positive attention when you go out in public and is it hard sometimes? I am currently a senior in college and my junior year of college was the first year that I attended school out as a trans person or as living as my true self um before that i went all through middle school high school <clears throat> elementary school and half of my college career presenting as male um so yeah it's still like a new experience to me being in an academic setting after transitioning do you get negative or positive attention i would say Mostly, I just, people are indifferent to me. People don't really give me positive attention that much or negative attention. I've never been confronted by somebody um, on campus. Well, probably mostly because of my major. I'm a gender studies and human rights major. So a lot of the people that I am in contact with at school are very open-minded. They are knowledgeable about LGBT issues and like gender identity and sexual sexuality like they know the difference between those two things so I'm surrounded by a lot of people who know about the community they know about trans issues so I would say it's pretty positive just because of that and in general I haven't had any like dirty looks or anything I will say it's kind of hard to open up in class I only have a few like very very few select amount of people that actually know that i'm trans at my campus and there have been times especially since i'm a gender studies major we're constantly talking about gender and sexuality so there have been times where i've wanted to like speak up and give the class like my personal experience about being a transgender person because i have been transitioning like people have questions about what it's like to transition and like the surgery and I want to just raise my hand and be like um I can give you like all that information because I I'm going through it right now it's hard to come out to people you know let alone an entire classroom of like 40 other students that you have like no clue where they came from like what parts of the world what their background is what their religions are like how tolerant they are to LGBT people so that would probably be like the hardest thing about being out 
as a trans person at school is just trying to figure out like who you can tell like who you feel comfortable letting know that you're trans basically does, next question is what does gender dysphoria feel like to you and how would you describe it to a cis person so i would say gender dysphoria is like just the discomfort with my body or my appearance um regardless of like how good or how far along i am in my transition and it's something that kind of creeps up on you just randomly it's, it honestly just feels really shitty like i don't know how else to describe it other than it feeling shitty you basically feel like you are in the wrong body and that's such a debilitating feeling to feel like the body that you're in is not your own and that you have these extra appendages that you don't feel like are supposed to be there and give you like great discomfort because you have to look at them every day you have to pee with it you have to look at it when you wake up in the morning you have to wash it when you take a shower like it's something that you can't escape i would say that would be the best way to describe gender dysphoria i mean some people through hormones and through surgeries can lessen the effects of dysphoria but it's definitely something that will linger at least for me how would i describe it to a cis person um i would say it's like imagine looking into a mirror and the person that's staring back at you is not yourself like you realize that you're standing in front of a mirror you realize that your eyes are not playing tricks on you like that's you but the person that you see is not the person that you feel you are that's like the easiest way i think i would describe it it's just something that happens like one day i'll feel like the hottest bitch on earth and then the next day i will just wear a hoodie and sweatpants and lay in my bed all day and dread how uncomfortable i am with my body so that's dysphoria for you next question uh, what has been your hardest part of transitioning um i am gonna be honest i've been very fortunate i've had a very easy transition with my friends and my family with work with school like i haven't had any major roadblocks in my transition obviously there are some family members that still misgender me like not on purpose but they still misgender me and it bugs me but as a whole i've been very fortunate with how smooth my transition has been going and going back to the part about being misgendered i would say the hardest part about transitioning is like gathering the courage to own your identity and and confront people when they're being disrespectful to you because like I, i'm very proud of who i am but i'm very non-confrontational person and whenever somebody misgenders me like in my family even though i've told them that i'm trans and i prefer feminine pronouns when somebody misgenders me i always let it just slide by i'm just like oh that's fine and i act like it doesn't bother me but it actually really does bother me it makes me feel really shitty so i would say the hardest part for me has just been gathering up the courage to defend my transness i guess and to kind of embrace it in public and to let people know like my friends and my family that this is who i am and this is the way that it's going to be and because i'm like non-confrontational i don't want to have those conversations with people because i don't want to make anything awkward or i don't want to offend anyone so the toughest part for me is just gaining the confidence to talk about my trans identity like openly and publicly and to be proud of it and to not let anyone give me shit for it because i'm proud of who i am and if you don't like me then you can fuck off next question is have you ever been jealous of a trans girl because of her looks yeah <laughs> i would say i got like super 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 jealous um towards the beginning of my transition and like before i actually started transitioning just because i was seeing all these girls and how they were so far along in their transition and they looked so feminine and so pretty and they had a boyfriend and they had like accepting family and i didn't know if my family was going to be accepting so i definitely was jealous of other girls because imagine like feeling like a potato and then looking at another girl that's just like you except she looks like a fucking supermodel like obviously i'm gonna get jealous but i don't think it was jealous in like a negative way i would think it was just like oh like i wanna be like her someday it, it was more of like 
me getting a taste of what I could potentially look like in the future. So that's why I was jealous just for, I was mostly jealous because they had something that I didn't have, which was hormones. And now that I do have hormones, I still do get jealous of some other girls because some girls out there, like trans or not, are really fucking pretty and I want to be that pretty. Like that's like they're so beautiful but i really think it's important not to be jealous in like a negative sense but more of like oh wow like she is somewhere that i could potentially be in the future i think that's a more positive way to look at it because it's just natural to compare yourself to other people um so yeah i've definitely been jealous of some girls some of them are super pretty and i wish that i looked like them to be honest and the second part to this question is has anyone been jealous of you um I think there was one instance where somebody was jealous of me. I'm not gonna like go into detail about it, but yeah, that was like, I've only had one experience where like the person was kind of catty towards me for no reason. Like I didn't even really know her. So I would say that's like the only instance that I've ever experienced of somebody being like jealous of me and then being like kind of a little bitch to my like behind my back so yeah and then the last question is what is something that you learned about yourself while transitioning that you didn't realize before so ever since i was like super young people have always told me like oh like he because i was a boy <laughs> he's so shy like oh he's just such a shy boy he doesn't talk to anyone and so like for my entire life i thought that i was a shy person um but ever since I started transitioning, I've realized that like I'm really not that shy. Like I would say the most accurate word to describe me would be quiet because I am quiet. I'm not the type of person that will start a conversation with someone I don't know and like be super outgoing and crazy and talkative. But if somebody talks to me, like I'll have a conversation with you. I don't mind talking to people. I don't mind talking in public. I don't mind talking to a camera. Like talking to people isn't really a problem for me. So I would say like, I'm not necessarily shy, I'm more quiet and that's what I've learned about my personality. Also, another thing that I've learned is that I'm very like nurturing, I guess you would say. I don't know if that's like the right word, but like whenever somebody I care about is sad, I immediately like my heart hurts and I want them to get better. I do everything in my power to try to cheer them up. like. If other people cry and I see people that I love crying, I will automatically start crying. Like there is no doubt about it. Also, I think that might just be because I'm like hormonal, but I don't really know. I realized like I'm a lot more outgoing than I initially thought I was. And I think that has mostly to do with the fact that I was uncomfortable with how I looked my whole life. So obviously when you're uncomfortable with your appearance and stuff like that, it's harder for you to open up and talk to people and have like casual conversations even with somebody else. So that's something I learned and also that I am emotional and I like to make sure people feel good. <laughs> so that's pretty much all of the questions that we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my versions and my answers to these questions. If you'd like to go ahead and go down to the description box, I have all the girls linked with their videos and their channels. Go check them out, subscribe to them, do whatever you want. Again, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you stick around. I promise I'm funny and I try to make good videos. I really do. If you'd like to, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter to keep up with me on other social media. If there's anything that you would like to know that I kind of didn't answer or you wish I would have answered in this video, leave it down below in a comment and I will try my best to respond. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, check out those girls because this video like would not even happen if it wasn't for them. And I hope you all have a nice morning, afternoon, nighttime, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, whatever you're eating. I don't know. I hope you have a good day and I will see you all next week. Bye.